Deepika Sharuk wo gets uglier. Abhishek leaves Hera Fairy 3 cast and crew high and dry in Dubai. Akshay Kumar in an exclusive interview about Singh's bling and lots more. Richa Chadha wants to have sex with Randi Puda. Hey guys, I'm Caitlin and you've joined me on 9xc.com the show. I'm hot, you're not. I'm a superstar. I'm a superstar. 9xc, 9xc, 9xc. Mark your calendars guys cuz December 18 2015 is when things are going to go down. That Friday is when Bajra Masani and Dilwale will clash at the box office and obviously things are going to get nasty. Bajra Masani star Deepika Padukone addressed the issue at a recent event by saying, "I think as actors I don't think we get involved in the uh, in the decisions of how a film should be marketed or when it should release or which film it should come with or not come with i think as actors our, our job is to to do our work as actors do that well and uh, and leave the rest to the professionals who know what they're doing dipika makes it sound so simple and so like it's all cool but trade me kahani kuch aur hi hai Turns out Bajra Mastani's distributors, Eros International, played a very interesting game. They went to single screens in the Bombay circuit, Delhi, Rajasthan and many other places in India and told them that for the first week after December 18th, they were not allowed to run any other film. Now the reason they could do this is because they used bait like Tanu Ed's Body Returns. Eros ko pata chala tha ki Shah Rukh shayad dil wale 18 December ko release karenge. So they told single screen owners that unless they give them a commitment to run only Bajra Mastani for the first week, they would not give them the rights to screen Tanu as Money Returns, which was a surefire hit. At that time, Bichara Shahrukh had nothing to give the single screen guys. No Dilwale, no nothing. So Eros ne apni jaga block kar di thi. A source close to Eros confirmed this to 9XC by saying, Yes, we have blocked many single screens, but it's okay. We wonder if SRK will release Dilwale on December 18th. Trade Walo ka kehna hai ki if Shah Rukh Khan get the desired number of single screens, he will stand to lose 20% of his estimated box office collections. But who actually announced the December 18th date first? A leading distributor told 9xc.com, Both parties claim that they announced their release date first. But who can prove that? However, now there are rumours that Eros might blink first and move Bajra Mastani to December 25th. A member of SRK's camp told us, Both films will have their audience, but tell us, would you like to see Ranbir, Deepika and Priyanka in a period film or the timeless chemistry of SRK and Kajal first? Hmm, ye to sochni wali baat hui na? Tell us which film would you watch first day, first show? Bajra Mastani or Dilwale? We're at facebook.com slash 9XC and our Twitter handle is at 9XC The Show. And while these films will see the light of day, clash or no clash, the fate of this other film might be a little bit iffy. Akshay Kumar, Sunil Shetty and Paresh Rawal had us in splits when they conned their way in Hera Fate. But with the sequel not doing all too well, a lot is riding on the third part which stars Abhishek Bachchan and John Abraham and is directed by Neeraj Vora. However, the buzz is that a recent Hera Fairy 3 shoot in Dubai didn't go down all too well with the entire crew returning to Mumbai within two days and not even a single scene shot. And why is that? Our sources close to the shoot told 9xc.com, Neeraj Vora didn't have a script in place, any dialogues, nothing. It was more of an impromptu shoot, which miffed Abhishek Bachchan no end. So he decided to walk off the sets. When we contacted Neeraj to get his side of the story, he said, Nahi bhai, all good with Abhishek. But we heard that it wasn't only Abhishek who got angry. Reportedly, the rest of the cast were pretty ticked off too. Last we heard, Abhishek has moved on to shoot for Houseful 3 in London. Well, the Hera Fairy franchise has a history of people abandoning the project. Sunil Shetty abandoned the film. Next in line to leave was Irfan Khan, who was promptly replaced by KK Menon. Earlier, in an interview with 9xc.com, Neeraj spoke about how Akshay Kumar was no longer part of the project. There can be one reason of Akshay, of not doing this picture, is... He had gone into too many... <clears throat> technical aspects of 
cinema. You don't think of technique first and then apply a story to it. You think of a story and then you apply the technique to it. So maybe Akshay didn't have a space for a director like me who does not give importance to the technicalities. That could be the real reason as I guess. Well, it's not like Akshay has been out of work or anything, even though he's not doing Hera 83. But now he has Singh's Bling with Amy Jackson coming up, and 9xc.com the show had an exclusive chat with Akshay and Amy. Akshay opened up about wife Twinkle Kanna's witty book, Mrs. Funny Bones, and addressed her jealous streak. Amy joined in the conversation, speaking up about the importance of this movie for her career. Check it out, guys. It's about a girl who doesn't know my language, and it's about a guy who doesn't know her language. Mm -hmm. And we both have problems. And uh, this actually happened with someone. They had kept a translator. So they used to talk to each other. It happens that the translator hates me. And she then starts translating everything wrong. And she creates a lot of problems between us. And we don't realize it. It was a huge break for me. Um, it was completely unexpected as well because actually um, there was another actress on board for the film and for some reasons that didn't work out and I, I met with Ashwini early in January when I was promoting for I and I came to Bombay and then and that was it basically and, and things happened and situations changed and, and I got the offer for this. So it was a huge break for me. It's, it's definitely my, my biggest jet. Well, uh, Amy suits the role perfectly because um, uh, one character, which uh, one trait which this character has, that uh, she doesn't speak Hindi. So, um, and uh, Amy at the moment is learning how to speak Hindi, and this was perfect for her to get into Bollywood. And I'm, my character is I don't know how to speak English, so we blended perfectly for this character. So, so that's how she she uh, she came in. We were looking, uh, we were delayed for about four to five months because of uh, our, uh, uh, we, we were not satisfied with the script and uh, I can understand because people have, cannot wait. They have to carry on, they have to work ahead and uh, 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 Shah Rukh's film is a big film for her and it's, I think she did the right decision. She's been in this industry more than I and you have been. So uh, she knows the, how the industry is and uh, there is nothing called possessiveness and it is uh, it's absolutely uh, the trust factor is there and that's it. Before she has written down, I read it and if there's anything I find something wrong then I tell her that I think don't write about this because it can uh, it can get controversial <laughs> and you know how much I run away from controversy. Coming up, industry veterans lock horns over India's Oscar nomination. Richa and Randeep can't keep their hands off each other. Welcome back to 9xc.com, the show where we're going to tell you about a controversy that's brewing within the industry right now. Bollywood films that make the cut for the Oscars grab the limelight, but the indie Marathi language film Court, selected for the Oscars in the foreign film category, is in the limelight for all the wrong reasons. After the selection of the movie, a shocking development rocked the selection committee. Rahul Rawal, part of the committee, and the man who gave us films like Betab, resigned and voiced his displeasure about Amul Palekar's way of working. Rahul held a press conference where he aired the differences within the committee, and we got in touch with Amul Palekar for his side of the story. At the conference, Rahul's first allegation was Amul ne vote gine, aur Amul ne kaha, ye ek film jo hai, this has got maximum vote mile. B film को second number के vote मिले उसके बाद तीसरी film C film और court इनके अंदर बराबर के vote से Well, our conversation with Amol gave us an entirely different picture. Here's what Amol had to say about the selection of court. Sincerely hope that court manages to bend that what we have so far alluded us, so far it has 
being out of our reach court manages to do that and crack that Correct. i would be the happiest person yeah. all of us would be not only as person who selected it but even as a indian filmmaker and as an indian i would be extremely happy and proud rahul went ahead and set up another allegation about the presence of amol's wife amol ki biwi wo bhi aa gayi aur jury mein baithi hui screening ke andar kyun jury mein meri biwi bhi thi baaki logo ko tam to nahi leke aaye na kisi ko acha theek hai aap film dekh rahe hain theek hai lekin har फिल्म के बाद आप बाहर आके मेंबर्स को कह रहे हैं कि ये फिल्म बहुत अच्छी है इसके बारे में सोचो इसकी फोटोग्राफी कितनी अच्छी है आपको ये बोलने का हक नहीं है अमोल जो चेयरमैन है अमोल को ये रोकना चाहिए था बीबी बाहर आके बोल रही है कि कोर्ट ओ गॉड सच अरेबल पिक्चर When nanexi.com raised this issue during the conversation Amol countered First and foremost all of us all the jury members including him uh-huh. have given undertaking to the film federation of india to keep the confidentiality and the secrecy about the process and i as a filmmaker as a chairman of the jury uh-huh. i certainly wouldn't like to breach it uh-huh. unless i take a formal permission from the federation if he chooses to do that that's perfectly his prerogative and his choice beyond that i don't want to breach one the undertaking but okay. even going beyond the undertaking the spirit in which we all had kept our faith in each other mm. and respect for each other i still want to maintain that And during the conference Rahul used some colorful language to describe Amol. Bahut hi interesting language use ki hai. Besar manni. Ek baar ye nahi bole ki chalo bhai galti ho gayi kya ho gayi kuch nahi. Unhone wo topic ko ekdam alag hi kar diya. Okay? And Amol responded by saying 45 years of my career in showbiz. Throughout that I have never had such allegation or such adjective used against me and all these adjectives they <laughs> i mean i i just really uh, feel like laughing that you know i feel my my uh, career and everything is now complete well it's a sad state of affairs when there's a debate just as an indian movie is all set to go for such a prestigious award we hope everything works out for them but from that controversial piece we move on to some more pleasant news a few days ago 9xc.com the show told you how parniti chopra is bouncing back and getting herself in shape As far as her career goes the lady has not been having much luck kill dil ke kharab performance ke baad parniti ki koi release nahi thi सुनने में आया था दैट शी वाज ऑफर्ड सुल्तान ऑपोजिट सलमान खान बट शी रिफ्यूज्ड टू कमेंट ऑन दैट टू एन 9xc.com द शो आफ्टर अबाउट इट बट नाउ वी आर हियरिंग विस्पर्स अबाउट हर नेक्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट इट सीम्स पारनीति विल बी रीयूनाइटिंग विद हर इशकजादी कोस्टा अर्जुन कपूर द फिल्म विल बी डायरेक्टेड बाय चक दे इंडिया डायरेक्टर शिमित अमीन एंड विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय यशराज फिल्म्स द प्रोडक्शन हाउस दैट गेव बोथ पारनीति एंड अर्जुन देयर ब्रेक इन बॉलीवुड The film is a supernatural drama. Parniti however was not the first choice. Buzz is that Nimrat Kaur was supposed to play the lead, but ab that's all in the past. If things go according to plan, Parniti and Arjun will be seen once again on screen. Seems like after a bad spell, things are finally looking up for both Parniti and Arjun, and things are getting steamy between another on-screen Jodi. Richa Chadda and Randi Bhuda steamed up our screens during the trailer launch of their film May or Charles. Richa made her intentions very clear. Charles is very sexy and every time I see him I feel like having sex with him. Obviously this is a line from the film's trailer. But Richa would just not give up. I want to have sex with him. We can't believe she did this. So Randeep ka kya reaction tha? Embarrassed. <laughs> Well of course he would be. 
We get that they are promoting their film, and well, the criminal Charles Sobraj, who run the place, was known for his charisma. But ye kuch zyada hi promotion nahi hua. These guys just need to chill. No, not like that. Sit apart, you guys. This is a family show. Has that power over, I would even say, even men and women. He had some seduction, some allure, something mysterious about him. Yeah, that's about right. Phew, I think we need to go into a break now. Coming up, Shruti battles it out with director. Konkana chooses to work with KRK. <laughs> Welcome back to 9xc.com, the show, your source for everything Bollywood. Let's face it guys, Shruti Hassan has yet to even start achieving what her superstar papa Kamal Hassan has. And with things going the way they are, that seems to be a long way coming. After Shruti grabbed attention with her gritty performance in D-Day, she was in talks with director Milan Lutria to star in the Ajay Devgan project Bacha. With the announcement that Shruti would play Ajay's romantic interest, Shruti ka to Bollywood ka tara chamma kehata. But there was another announcement that took Shruti by surprise. She found out that another femme fatale was also signed up. But what was more shocking for Shruti was when she found out that her role may be much less than the other female actor. She'd have to be content with playing the female lead opposite Pulkit Samrat. Ajay Dikaya or Pulkit Dedia. That's kind of unfair, isn't it? And who was this Bollywood beauty? Well, that was none other than Lisa Hayden, who stood toe-to-toe -to -toe against acting powerhouse Kangana Ranaut in Queen. The buzz is that tempers flared when Milan went to town about how Lisa would add sensual energy to the movie. Now, that's a term that isn't thrown around that easily, is it? Our sources have it that it upset Shruti enough to confront director Milan about it. Shruti was also irked that she would be sidelined come the launch of the movie. Our source says she was aghast as she felt Milan had manipulated her into believing that she'd be the lead. Her argument was that how can Lisa, who is literally just a couple of films old, be promoted and placed in a bigger way? Shruti definitely doesn't like surprises and she could be convinced about the project even when Ajay himself tried to cajole her back into it. Shruti seems to have taken a tough stand, our sources close to the development told us. Shruti had made up her mind by then. There weren't any contractual hindrances either as she was yet to sign on the dotted line. Well, as things stand now, Shruti has walked out of the project and Milan is busy looking for a replacement. So whose loss was it? Did Shruti lose out on a project that would propel her into superstardom? Or did Milan lose out on someone who'd add the X factor to his project? That is something only time will tell. Konkana Sen Sharma was in the news recently for her divorce with Ranveer Shore and seems the feisty girl is ready to move on. 9xc.com has it that Konkana has given the nod to an Eros Now project where she is all set to share screen space with KRK. KRK or Konkana Ek Saath Ek Hi project mein? Now that's gonna be interesting. Now before you all go, what's a talented actress like Konkana doing working with the guy who gave us Desh Trodi? KRK here is not Kamal Arkan but Kunal Roy Kapoor. After all, Kunal Roy Kapoor has been out of the limelight for a while. Directed by Rohan Sippy, the show will be along the lines of Louis C.K., an American show. Kunal and the two-time National Award winner will play themselves facing real-life situations. Kunal and Konkana have earlier worked together in The President is Coming, which was directed by Kunal, in which Konkana played a pivotal role. According to our sources, the basic idea of the show is to poke fun at oneself. Now, isn't that kind of a new concept for Bollywood? The pilot of the series is already shot and once it's approved, the show will go on floors. The professional that Konkana is, she has given the assurance that her divorce will not affect the show in any way. Our source says, Konkana is doing fine. She's ready to get back to work. No one has tapped a sense of humor, which in fact will be the highlight of the show. Add a girl, Konkana. And what's more, Kunal and Konkana are even writing the show with Rohan. Our source close to the development had this to say. Konkana and Kunal agreed to do that instantly. The money is not at all great, but the content that Rohan plans to generate is superb. The actors will be put into realistic situations and will react to them the way they would in their real lives. It's an unexplored concept in India. 
while Kunal and Konkana are acting powerhouses and with them collaborating with Rohan, audiences can be assured of some crackling entertainment. And that's all we have for this episode, but you can visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash 9XC and on Twitter at 9XC The Show for the latest Bollywood gossip and news. Check out our site 9XC.com for breaking Bollywood news and don't forget to log on to our YouTube channel for the full episode. Download our free 9XC app for the iOS and Android systems as well. See you on Wednesday, guys. 